Hi guys, welcome back to Beal Science. It has almost been two years since I was last sitting at this table and freezing snacks with liquid nitrogen. And I find myself back here today, a few years older, but I don't know if I'm any wiser because I'm back here about to eat snacks and liquid nitrogen. And the reason I'm back is I'm getting ready for some presentations where I want people to be able to experience this eating treats with liquid nitrogen. But, never being satisfied, I figured I'd do some experimenting with some other treats this time, hence the goodies behind me here, and see if there's something better than the typical graham crackers that I usually use. And instead of me having all the fun all by myself, I figured, hey, let's set up the camera while I experiment and just see where it goes from here. So, uh, you know, let's freeze some stuff and eat it. It's important to remember that liquid nitrogen is negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit. So it changes immediately from a liquid into a gas because, well, it's boiling. In fact, you can hear it. Hey, Teddy Grahams. Well, the whole point is I gotta have something that will soak up a little bit of the liquid nitrogen, but not really too much of the liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen teddy grams. Here you go. Oh my gosh, those work really well. Okay, that's too many. Five or six is too many. Maybe one is enough. Here you go. Eh? Next up, oops, all berries. I didn't even know that this was a cereal. What is that? What is that? Pretty colors, I give it points for color. So here you go, I'll try one, blue one. Ooh, <laughs> that holds a lot of nitrogen. So let's see. Oh my God, oh, <laughs> that's fantastic. Oh, don't hold it in your hand quite so long. I can feel it in my teeth, in my molars. <laughs> Those are really good. Look at that. That's all full of. Yeah. Tricks. I should tell you at this point, my tongue is feeling the effects of the liquid nitrogen. Look at this. Watch right. <laughs> People always ask, is it bad for you? No, man. You breathe in. Most of the air you're breathing in is nitrogen. So, I mean, now you don't want to breathe in just nitrogen because your body needs oxygen, it's kind of the thing. Twix. <coughs> what were we just talking about that you shouldn't have just like solid nitrogen? I got so much nitrogen gas there. I was having tro <coughs> trouble catching my breath. Hey. Frosted mini wheats. I'm gonna try one. There we go. You see them? One more time. Look at this liquid nitrogen pouring out of it. But what are we here for, right? Experimenting. Oh, it's stuck to the, it's stuck to the inside of my cheek. Look at this. Look at that, it's just pouring out of there. These are a terrible idea. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Of all of them, that's the worst. Not, like flavor, like freezing the parts of the inside of my face. The same exact thing happened to me last time where I reached a point where I could start to feel parts of my mouth that I didn't even really know existed. Look at these, these are actually, I mean, these are fantastic. You got a little coconut around the outside. Hey, if it looks good, more is better. Watch. I don't know that I'm going to be able to eat that. It just shattered. Okay. This is the worst idea ever. It's too much. It's too big. <laughs> I 
chance to do that. I gotta get rid of those. Well, I came here to finish the job. Might as well finish the job. This is the hole of the donut. I wish you could feel what my mouth feels like right now. It's all tingly and, okay. let's see. These might be too large as well. Splatter on my face. Rock solid. That's. Uh-uh. There we go, one more time, try it now. Here's where, here's where I'm concluding. Bigger is not better in the case of frozen things. <clears throat> so we're back right to where we started. I'm gonna try out the Teddy Grahams and the Twix to do my little comparison. So I got my Twix and I got my Teddy Grahams. Uh -huh. ah! The bowl's getting cold. Come over here and vote. Look, here's my helper. Which one's gonna be better for the presentation? This one? Or this one? A little handful of them? Which one's better? Teddy Graham. Teddy Graham? Teddy Graham it is. He's like a bottom feeder. He's like trolling down there and picking up all the frozen stuff. Yeah, boy. Get on out of here. Oh, he's a good boy. We have concluded that the Teddy Grahams, because of their size, but they're still very porous, work about the best. All right, huh? huh? The Trix and other comparable size cereal also work just lovely and fine, but you start to get any bigger than that, it's just way too much. Again, it's probably best not to try this at home. I think legally I'm supposed to say that, right? Because this is negative 320 degrees. It will freeze parts of your face and your body and everything else. But all in the name of science, you know, we got a lot more stuff going on here at BL Science. If you want to check it out, hit the subscribe button. Maybe leave me a comment. Maybe come on over to blscience.com. Check out some other crazy things going on there. But the real point, the point of me making all these videos is to remind you, I can't even talk, see, because things are frozen. It's this. It's to remind you to keep on learning. Thanks for watching.